so uh, what we're going to do here for the learning about Aggie.io is we're going to start by learning how to sign into the website. Now, while you can use Aggie.io without creating an account for use with this class, I would like you to create an account. So over here in the top corner where it says anonymous, you're going to pull that down and you're going to create a uh, create an account. You'll go ahead and put your use your district email address. Uh, you'll select a password, select a display name, and then you can pick a picture for yourself and put it in there in the preferred color. The color is just going to be kind of an underline that goes underneath your picture. Once you create your account, you can open up a new drawing and I'll show you how to do that. So once you create an account, you're going to see here that it says on mine, it says new drawing or continue the last one. And I'm going to go ahead and click new drawing. Um, on your account, it won't say continue the last one because you probably haven't done a drawing before unless you have, if you created an account earlier. And now we are opened up to our drawing board here and you have pretty, um, standard tools over here on the left-hand side. Here is a brush tool that you can use um, for, for drawing. You can find the size tool for the brush all, over, all the way over here on the right-hand side. So you can see I can move this slider all the way over so I could make it 96 pixels, which is pretty big, or I could shrink it all the way down to just a few pixels, which is a lot smaller. Um, hardness. Hardness has to do with the hardness of the edge. Um, so that is 100% hardness. And this is 0% hardness, right? You see the edge is very soft, it's blurry. And so that's the difference. So you can select it anywhere in between. So that's kind of a kind of blurry edge. Now to zoom in, you've got a magnifying glass on the left that you can click to zoom in on an area, or you can click and drag and it'll pull you in and out and I can kind of start to see the softness of my edges over there. So if swiping it to the right zooms in, swiping it to the left zooms out just like that. The hand tool allows you to move things around. We have got a couple of different tools here. This tool selects everything that's on the layer that you're drawing and you can resize it or move it around, um, etc. Um, these top three tools are selection area tools. So like the rectangle tool, you select an area and you use the arrow tool and then you can move that portion of it around. Or even you can take the transform tool here and you can, instead of transforming the whole area, you just take a part of it. Like say you draw the head of someone and you want it smaller or bigger, you might use that tool for that. Okay, so I'm going to clear everything off this layer. And to do that, I'm going to point you over to the layers palette over here on this side. So if you see over here, we've already started with five layers. Now to remove everything off of a layer, there is a little eraser up here at the top. If you click on that, it's going to clear everything off of that layer. The way layers work in general, you have if you have two layers, and let's say I draw an object here on layer five, so I'll just draw a square. And on layer four, I'm going to draw something in a different color, maybe a circle in a different color. And I'm going to draw that on a different layer. Now you'll see on each layer, the rectangle um, is here by itself on one layer. The circle is here by itself on another. And I can rearrange the layers by moving them on top of each other and below each other like that. And you'll see in the main image how they arrange themselves like that. It's important to be aware that the, the number layer that is on the top most on the column is going to be on the top of everything else that you see. The layer numbers are just names. You can have a layer five on the bottom, even though it says layer five, I won't change its name to layer one or layer zero or anything like that. In this program, when you double click on a layer, what it does is it makes it your layer. So this is a collaborative drawing program. So once it's your layer, and you can see both of these layers are mine because I double clicked on them. Um, if I want this layer to be mine as well, I'll double click on it. And now that one is mine and it says your layer. If I want someone else to work on it, I and I highlight the layer and, I, and I'm gonna go over here to this button that says leave and I click leave and now it's a public layer. Then anyone in our group could draw on it. So if you don't want anyone to, to work on your stuff, you just leave your layer double-clicked and then no one else can draw on it. 
Now, when you're in a collaborative project, especially for my class here, you're going to want to put your name on the layer that you are working on. So if this is my layer, I might say this layer is Jeff Eagle, and that's my layer. And then you might name your layer your name. So one of the first things you're going to want to do when you create a new file is make yourself an administrator for it so that that file becomes yours and that nobody else can work on it. So to do that, you're going to come up here to file. You're going to click on it and you're going to come down here to drawing settings. Once you get to drawing settings, you're going to, these are the settings for the drawing. So you can change the size what the background color, what the resolution is, etc. But, but what you really want to do is click this, become an admin of your drawing. The admin gives you complete control over the drawing controls who could work on it. So you don't have to let anyone else work on it, or you can only let the people you want to work on it, work on it. And once you become an administrator of the drawing, you have a couple of uh, abilities that you can do for the drawing for later. So now here it says you are an admin of this drawing. Use the admin menu to adjust drawing permissions or click on other users to see admin options for a user. So you're going to click save. And now you have this admin window over here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to control the other people in your drawing. So to do that, I need to create a separate account. Okay, so we've got a new user in here. And the user's name, I'll highlight it over here, is Jellyman, right? Um, we may or may not know who Jellyman is. So, but whenever we create a document, the very first thing we want to do is uh, after we make ourselves an admin, we have control of the permissions of who has what permission to do what. Now I've noticed that in the this program is um, still kind of in development. For that reason, I noticed that you cannot click on the admins to give only admins permission to do stuff. It's currently not working, but you can set it so that only approved users can do any of these things. Only approved users can use a chat. Only approved users can own layers. In order to draw on anything, they have to be able to own a layer. Only approved users can reorder layers, add layers, change the drawing settings, right? Paste things onto the drawing, etc. So the first thing you want to do is change all of the permissions to approved. Otherwise, anyone can come in and start adding, uh, removing, deleting stuff that you have worked on already. So let's change all your settings to approved. And now that we're over here, we go to Jellyman. You say that he currently has no uh, approvals. He's not approved yet. So Jellyman with those settings can no longer draw on this drawing. He can't create layers that he can draw. on. But if I change him to approved, now Jellyman can draw on layers that he can draw on and he can put things in the chat like down here. And uh, if Jellyman doesn't do things that we like, then we can kick him out. So I can change his approval to none. And I can kick him out of all layers. If you've already approved him to have a layer um, and he changes permissions to having no permissions, he can still draw on the layer that he already started unless you kick him out of all your layers. So it's very important to get a handle on these permissions. Uh, the first thing when you create a project for yourself, um, if you don't ever approve anybody, then you're the only one that can work on it. No one else can touch it. And uh, you don't really have to worry about anything. You, only people you approve will be able to uh, join the project. So those are some of the basics of Aggie.io. Let's go ahead and have some fun with it. Mm -hmm.